Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing your August career and finance reading. And before I start, Capricorns, please watch it if you are a Capricorn Sun or a Capricorn Rising as you will resonate with this more because this has got to do with your career and finance. And also it is not possible for these readings to resonate with all Capricorns. So if they do, then follow them. If they don't, feel free to throw them out. Okay. And uh, secondly, um, because this is an August reading, so you may not or you might not resonate with it as of now because we are not yet in August. So, you know, maybe you can come back after a few days if you do not resonate at all and see if it's making sense. Else you will know that this is, you'll know by the resonance that whether it, it is kind of telling your story because as a tarot reader, it is not possible for any tarot reader to pick up everybody's story, okay? We pick up the stories of the people who want to hear it or listen to it. If you're new, welcome to my channel. You can like, share, and subscribe if you want. I'll be very grateful for that. And thank you, Capricorn, for supporting my cause, sending in the donations. Oh, my God. The mails that I've received from Capricorns, thank you so much. You have been such a great support. I can't thank you enough. And if you're new and if you want to know about me or the kind of work that I do, all the links are in the description below. All right, so let's start Capricorn. What do we have for our Capricorns in finance and career for the month of August? Capricorn in finance and career. Okay. All right. Capricorn. I don't see much. I mean, these are all minor energies. I don't see major arcanas as such. But yes, as I see in your career, you know, your career so far or your life so far in your money terms or, uh, you know, if you are somebody who's looking for employment, I see there is three of pentacles so far, your journey so far. So maybe you have learned a new skill or you're learning something new or, uh, you know, you are kind of assessing the situation or it's, it's like you're almost in the verge of learning a new skill. I feel it's a new skill or something new that you've learned from your overall career so far, Okay. You have learned a new way of doing things or a new degree or uh, something new from your work, okay? And what uh, your failures have taught you, of course, there has been failures because no career can be all success. There would be failures. There would be success. So your successes or your growth till so far has given you some new learning, some new skills, but at the same time, your uh, failures have taught you to contemplate, to have a deep emotional understanding, to understand things from the heart's perspective, from the emotional perspective and not being practical, but instead focusing on things, why they happened. So being intuitive, it's about uh, you know, it has taught you to contemplate or introspect every time anything goes wrong. Maybe now you sit back and you reevaluate that where did you go wrong? Okay, where did you go wrong that the results went wrong? Now, again, the similar energy that you need to focus on this month is I see the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles in this position means this is something that you need to focus on from your lesson learned and from your successes so far is evaluate, okay? Re-evaluate, reassess, stop, take stock of your inventory, stop 
you know, wherever you're working, whatever you're doing, sometimes it's needed that you pause, reevaluate everything, take an inventory of what you have lost, what is not serving you, what is serving you, what has been good so far, what hasn't been so good, what needs to go, what needs to stay. So take an inventory of the things or your plans or your ideas or your career, things that you need to keep and things that you need to let go of, okay? That is the kind of energy that Tarot is asking you to focus or that is what you should be paying attention to this month. All right, so now we come to your environment. Now in your environment, I see you start with the four of swords. So yeah, for some Capricorns, maybe you've worked too hard. So it is time for you to take some rest or take a vacation if possible, a mid-year vacation, because I feel for some of you, you have been overworked or, you know, you have been thinking too much about something. So you need some time to... Uh, recuperate or uh, you know you need to rest or you need to remove yourself from certain situations maybe at work maybe in business there are certain situations which are conflicting and uh, you know they're nothing to do with you but they're just conflicts around you so maybe you need to take some time out and be away from all that conflict and reassess what you have what you have learned so far what are your skills what are where are your strengths instead of focusing on what is happening around you the chaos around you maybe you are in an organization which is talking about layoffs acquisitions mergers so people are talking about i'm going to get laid off or this department is closing and that department is going to layoffs and you if you stay within that negativity it's going to take a toll on your brain you're going to overthink so to stop that, instead, take some time out, think about your skills. What are your skill sets? What, are, what have you learned so far? And it is the time to pay attention or to contemplate on what you can do or what you do best. And then take inventory of the things that you have. Maybe you need to now redo your resume in case of emergency. You need to rework on your resume. You need to, maybe the resume was last updated five years back or seven years back. So many things happen between that. So now you need to update it. Now you need to start reaching out to employers instead of getting hassled. Or you need to simply ignore people, take some time out for yourself, come back fresh. Okay? What Tarot is calling your attention on is the Knight or Nine of Wands. Now, Nine of Wands would mean standing your God, holding to your beliefs and ignoring people's advice. Again, Virgo got this card too. So it could be that you are overlooking certain things. Maybe, you know, not every time it is, um, a, you know, a wild call where just people are just talking if they are talking about it, if there is a smoke, then there has to be some fire. So stop being stubborn. Stop uh, being in this energy of not listening to others. Listen to everybody. But that doesn't mean that you'll react to it or start jumping immediately. But listen to everybody. Hold your ground. Evaluate yourself. Contemplate on things that you have, things that you do not have. Learn the things, uh, you know, pay attention, reevaluate your career, reevaluate your business. Maybe you are in a business where people are saying, you know what, the government is changing policies. This industry will not grow. Now this industry is a dead industry. So if people don't, don't just say no on their face, because sometimes, uh, you know, with this nine of wands, you could have the option of, um, you could have this habit of ignoring others' opinions. So you might be completely in denial, completely ignoring. And then later when that happens, that comes as a shocker to you. So don't do that. Pay attention to what people are telling you. But at the same time, stick to your thought. Okay? Stick to your beliefs. Stand for your thoughts. Take some time out away from, as I said, there chaos around you. Away from all that chaos. Think, take an inventory of what all you have so far. 
what else is needed and accordingly make decisions okay now when it comes to uh, taking risks or changing your line of business or going in for a new job moving out from your old organization uh, you know I feel there is going to be an option or offers for you something similar people might but that would come through you know some known person four of wands is here so it could be from some friend or somebody you know some friend has joined some other company might tell you that hey you know we have an opening which is similar to your profile why don't you apply here or something like that it but that invitation would bring mutual benefit so you will be benefited if if somebody is calling you for any business or a job or something new uh, there will be mutual benefit not that only you will be benefited even they will be benefited so it's going to be mutual benefit but it's going to be from somebody known to you but yes immediately it won't be the king of pentacles or the ten of pentacles or the empress where you know all the pentacles fall in your lap but whatever it is whatever new that you will be called in for or you will be asked you will be given the opportunity to collaborate to come together or to join or to start will definitely be a win-win situation will be definitely a mute uh, you know a, a mutual uh, beneficial situation okay where they will benefit maybe they will benefit because they referred you so they get the referral bonus and you will be benefited because you have a new job okay so that kind of thing that could be working out with you or it could be a new business where you join in so again it's mutually beneficial for both of you uh, they get what they want maybe they need your skill set and you need money so you get your money they get you their skill sets so it's a win-win situation so I see it's a win-win situation with the four of wands but yes uh, it's not going to give you immediate return or it's 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 about long term okay mm, it's it's going to take some time so immediate gratification no but yes positive gratification definitely yes so maybe on the first day you may not earn five hundred dollars but you'll start with five dollars okay but that is going to be steady that is going to be stable okay provided you you know you stand your guard but Capricorn pay attention to uh, what people are uh, telling you if people are telling you that there is something in you which you need to change or something in you that you need to pay attention to or some rigidity of yours don't have to react then and there take but take the words of advice take some time out contemplate and take a stock you know of your things that you've learned so far things that you have uh, overlooked or things that you need to which you're good at, which you're weak at, and accordingly, uh, you know, make a decision. All right. So let's pull an oracle card and see what's there for you. Capricorns. What do we have for Capricorns for the month of August? Oops, okay, this one just jumped, so I'm going to take that. Justice, your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. So as I said, it's a mutual uh, benefit that is coming towards you. Something that your friends or somebody from your past or somebody from your known circle holds you in and it is time for justice, okay? It will be fair for both of you. It's going to protect both of you. It's going to be mutual, mutually beneficial, okay? So it is justice time. Very nice, Capricorn. So stop, but provided you listen to others. Don't be up in your head. Don't be so rigid. Take some time out. If there's too much of chaos around you, take some time out for yourself. Think and come back. But whatever decision you're going to make, if there is an offer coming from a friend or a known circle or known people, take that because that is going to mean justice. That's going to be a win-win situation for both of you. All right, Capricorn, this is all I had for your 
career in finance uh, for the month of August. Uh, very nice. And I will see you again in a few days with your general and love reading. Till then, stay positive and stay motivated. Okay? All right. Bye.